Okay, my name is Art Aguilar and I'm with Raises Photo Mask. Uh, I've been doing this for a couple of years, like 27 years. Uh, what I'm going to do today is do a stage carved eagle. This is going to emphasize on the deep stage carving of this particular pattern. And uh, what I'm going to do here, this is, gonna, this is showing you the uh, finished product. And I'm going to go ahead and do one partially just to show you the process of the deep carving, okay? You're welcome to look at this piece afterwards and I, what you're going to see is that I just didn't do a flat blast. I went a little step further and, and carved the glass to give it that look, okay? So this is a piece that I'm going to be working with. It's a, it's a 5 mil SR3000 photo resist self stick film. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve the top part of the seagull head and let you see the, the uh, results. I'm going to be using 150 grit aluminum oxide and a 332nd nozzle with about 40 pounds pressure. So there's a lot of things you can do when you're etching, but this process gives you the ability to go a little bit deeper and give your customer that etched sculptured look, if you will, okay? So watch this. You can, you can wear gloves when you sandblast anything. I don't usually do, uh, my hands just usually get dusty and just clean off the dust with uh, warm water. So again, as with all the other projects, you wanna keep your nozzle at a 90 degree perpendicular uh, look. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and blast the whole area. And what I'm doing is I'm establishing my cut lines. Keep your nozzle moving. Anytime you're blasting something, you always want to keep your nozzle moving. Create that consistent blast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here on this lip. I'm just going to start blasting it deep. The minute the sand hits the uh, glass, it's frosting it and then going a little bit beyond. It's actually cutting a nice deep edge on the glass. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop. And what I do is I'll go ahead and turn my piece around. And that way you can see how deep I'm getting on that in that area and if you want uh, like Liz did earlier you tilt your glass and you can see how deep you're going real easy okay then I'm going to do this number two here I have a sequence chart that I can't find but uh, this does have a sequence to it okay this is your number two here and the secret to uh, stage carving is you always stay away from the area you previously blasted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and frost this area. And then I'm just going to stay up here in this little crest area right here and do a deep blast. Again, keep your nozzle moving. Stay away from that lip that I already etched. I can see that's already created a real nice depth up there. Uh, Who said that? Okay, again, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see. Can everybody see that deep, nice deep edge that I've done? And then I got uh, a two right here again I'm just gonna frost the area come back and concentrate on this right hand corner create a nice deep little pocket right here that's a feather right there See how that's blending in really nice? Uh, my next number is a three. 
which includes this beak. And we got this area right here under the lip. And the key here is too is when, depending on how big the area is or how small, how much etching you do to that area. I got a real small little piece right here, so watch this. I'm just gonna frost it and then come in real close and just do a, a second etch right there. Same with this bottom area. And just a little tap there and a little tap there. Got a little bit of depth there. Okay, now now the the, the the area that gives it a lot of character is this beak area. So I'm going to frost it. And I'm going to come back and create a real nice deep edge on the, starting from the, the very point of the beak and then feather it up. Feather back, keep your nozzle moving. Just take your time. And as you can see, the sand as it's hitting the glass, it's, it's really doing a nice cut there. Remember, I'm staying away from the areas I previously blasted. Keep that in mind all the time. You can apply this process to a flower, an animal pattern, a tree pattern. See that beak? That's what gives it a lot of character. Okay, next I got this area right here. Frost it and then just come back and do a light edge right here. Now I'm going to do this forehead. Now you can see I'm just letting those pieces of film just fall down into the cabinet. It's got a strainer down here at the very bottom. All you do is suck it up with a shot vac. Frost the area. And come back and just go across it. Left to right. Top to bottom. That way you get a nice consistent deep etch in this forehead area. Back and forth. Back and forth. It's already getting a nice little deep cut in there. Oh, see, that's a nice cut right there. Sorry, it's blending in. Now the next number is uh, four. Okay, again, this is a nice narrow strip, so I'm just going to frost it. And I'm going to go up here on top and ride this halfway on, halfway off the mask and the glass. And just create a little edge right here. How's that look? Okay, now I'm going to do my five right here. It's a nice small area, nice feather. All I want to do is create a little step here. Keep your nozzle 90 degrees.
touch, a little touch right on this feather right here. Okay, a little circle around the eye. I'm just going to do a little frost. What's that? Okay. And I'm just going to do this little half moon right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, shows you how you do a staged carved eagle. That process right there. What you want to do is just continue this piece. And all you do is, when you get to the feathers, blast on the left side for that uh, tucked in look. Okay? And remember, you can see this on, uh, off of our website. This is a live streaming. And I'm going to pass that other eagle around so you can see it. So you can yeah. you can feel the uh, the depth I put into that piece. Feel that. That's beautiful. Gives you a nice deep look on there. Sculptured look, you know. And then you can apply it to different like a flower is really easy to apply that to. Yeah. Uh, this is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.